Hey now, and welcome to Stern Talk, everybody. I'm your host, B.O.S., bringing you another classic video. Tonight's video is Beetlejuice Accepts an Avian Award for Howard. This is a classic video where Howard wins an Avian Award but doesn't want to go out to Vegas to accept the award, so he decides to send Beetlejuice out there to accept the award for him. Before we start this video, I want to talk about the great Beetlejuice for a second. Mr. Lester Green, a.k.a. the Beatmaster General, a.k.a. Beetlejuice. In my eyes, Beetlejuice is the top whack packer from the Howard Stern Show. He never disappoints. Every video he is in is just so funny. I believe this is one of his best, so let's check it out together. Now let's bring in the Beetlejuice. But, uh, but wait a second, don't bring in Beetlejuice yet. Uh, let me set this up right. Okay, so, you know, a couple of, uh, like, like three months ago, Baba Buhai came to me uh, during the show, as he does in the commercials, and he says, uh, he says to me, uh, boy, there's good news and bad news. Uh-oh, another one? Yeah, good news and bad news. Yeah. I said, what's the good news and the bad That's news? That's what it is. Said, well, the good news is you received a major reward. I said, oh, Really? He says, but the bad news is it's from Adult Video News. That's the porno awards. <laughs> you know. I said, well, the bad news is always your teeth. <laughs> Thank you, both. Both. Thank you for the compliment, both. <laughs> so anyway, um, yes, it's true. I received the Freedom of Speech Award or something from the Adult Video News, which is a porno convention where, like, chicks who just won for best anal scene, you know, win awards. So, okay. And Beetle, now, now bring in Beetlejuice. Here, come, here he comes. And by the way, if you want more information on Beetlejuice, because people are writing us all the time, they want to get in touch with Beetlejuice. Can you get a hold of Beetlejuice. The, the real place to get a hold of Beetlejuice. Here he comes. He's wearing his slippers oh, and robes. He changed his hair color. Yes, he did. He's the Dennis Rodman of dwarves. Dennis Rodman. He, I think he's the the. He's Hef. Hugh Hefner. Yeah, he's dressed in robe and bunny slippers. <laughs> Beetlejuice. No. Uh, for information on Beetlejuice, go to jollydwarf.com. Beetlejuice. You know, is, I like this look. He looks great. He's got a big cigar. You look great, Beetlejuice. Thank you. Get, get, cl get close to that. <laughs> oh, Jackie's reaction after seeing Beetlejuice walk in is so classic. I'm just soaking in Beetlejuice. I know. It takes a while. Beetlejuice, whose idea was it for you to... He has such a small head that the headphones don't fit on him. It's okay. It's all right. What's on top And the funniest head? thing is the little tuft of hair on the top. Beetlejuice, what do you do? You dyed your hair like Dennis Rodman? Is he a hero of yours? Yeah. Yeah, you like Dennis Rodman. Yeah. You know, I, I was reading... You look like him. Yeah, you look like him. You do. Yeah, you're a shorter version. <laughs> it looks like shaving cream on top of No, I shave every day, you know. Yeah. Oh. So Beetlejuice... Don't uh, distract you'll you'll be yeah. You'll be surprised to know that Dennis Rodman badly wants to get back into basketball. He has removed all the hair color from his hair. Is that right? He has stopped wearing all the wild uh, jewelry. He got rid of the piercing? Got rid of the... Yeah, and he is now... I read this in the paper today. He's, he would love to be with the L.A. Lakers again because of the coach, the guy who would coached him in Chicago. Right. Uh, Phil, Phil Jackson. Jackson. But since they don't want him, they're a winning team. Uh, I think he's trying to go to Dallas anywhere. Yeah, I heard Dallas was yeah. sort of interested. And he says now he's serious. He's not going to be distracted, and he's going to be a serious player. Oh, sure. Well, that's what he says. Well, yeah, and he can keep his focus for how long? I don't know, but Beetlejuice is focused on me, that's for sure. <laughs> Beetlejuice is staring at me like a woman in love. Are you in love with me, Have Beetlejuice? You him? No. No. Beetlejuice was good enough to take a plane all the way down to uh, Vegas. Right. Did you like Las Vegas? Had you ever been there before? Yeah, I've been there twice. Is that right? I didn't know that. I, I didn't, didn't know. know you traveled. You were down there on other business? Yeah. What kind of business? Oh, uh, traveling business. Traveling business, yeah. All right. So, anyway, so Beetlejuice, we said Beetlejuice to accept. Yes, I will accept your reward. Yeah, my award, yes. Yeah. All right. That sound effect that Fred keeps playing is the sound of Beetlejuice throwing up. Beetlejuice got out there when they announced my name because I thought it was ridiculous that I was receiving the Adult Video News Award. You were embarrassed. That's right. By the way, here it is. Oh, there's right the tape. Look wow. at Beetlejuice. Yeah, there's Beetlejuice coming out. Let me play it now if you can turn that off and let me play the sound. He looks like the good humor man. Yeah. <laughs> <Except Beetlejuice. laughs> so... A lot of you people know about us giving the Howard, giving Howard Stern the Special Achievement Award and how he would not come this evening. And um, we wanted to give it to Howard Stern for a couple of reasons. One, because it's great publicity. Two, he's really been 
done a lot for this industry, and a lot of the girls in the industry have gotten tremendous publicity. He has really treated this industry like a regular industry and given, every, given this business a lot of press. I think Beetlejuice is snoring. Beetlejuice, are you awake? What are you, snoring? <laughs> ah, yeah. Don't, oh. don't oh. sleep during this. Sleep during this. <laughs> it's your moment. It's your moment to come out. Here we go. And a lot of positive press. And with his own FCC battles, I thought it was appropriate to give him the award. It's not a very nice speech. He seems to be angry <laughs> yeah. at you. Yeah, like, we're giving him this award. Here's why. So you know. You know, we decided to give him the award because it'd be good publicity. Yeah, right. totally and he wouldn't even pick it up. I remember when Al Goldstein got this award last year. They were like, "Here, here he comes. He's a freedom oh, fighter." This is so great. I yeah. think because I didn't show up, they're bad mouthing yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that guy's name is Paul Fishbourne. He's been on the Howard Stern Show before. He's the owner of the AVN Awards. He's the founder, and uh, he's the one who started the AVN Awards, and uh, he's being super disrespectful to Howard, if you ask me. So, Howard does deserve this award, but he wouldn't come this evening. Despite my urgings and 4 a.m. telephone calls... Excuse me, I couldn't fly out to Las Vegas. I got a job. Like, I'm going to get up and accept an award with a straight face in front of, like, best anal actress. Yeah, the girl who Man. just uh, had never done a movie yeah. and never held a camera and just won an award. Well, Beetlejuice was more than willing to go out there. He sent somebody named Beetlejuice to pick up this award. <laughs> so, to accept Howard Stern's Special Achievement Award is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, here he comes now. Now Beetlejuice walks out. He walks out. Dressed beautifully. Women, beautiful a lot of women. beautiful women carrying Beetlejuice out. They have to go. Music to pipe him in. Yeah, and they have to find a, a thing for him to stand there because Beetlejuice box. is quite short. Yeah. Beetlejuice is already starting his speech. He doesn't realize that uh, he needs to wait till they get the box so he can get up to the microphone. <laughs> so now they're trying to find you a thing a to stand box, on, right? Yeah. Beetlejuice? Yeah. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Beetlejuice, do you, do you understand what you're saying when you talk? Yeah. Yeah, you understand? All right, because you might have to translate some of this uh. stuff. Well, Beetlejuice well, Juice here yeah. had a big penis here. Yeah. <laughs> So now you're talking about the size of your penis, and uh, you're saying I'm a great man. <laughs> but you come after yeah, his yeah, penis. Right. He's a... We're all staring at. What are you all staring at? <laughs> <laughs> you're up there making a speech, they're staring at you. I don't bet he got in and I was staring there. How you like it? Okay, that's my favorite Beetlejuice line ever. <laughs> what are you all staring at? Ah, uh, classic. Big head and big star. I have a dream. I love it. I love to draw up, babies. You love to what? Throw up? You love to throw up? Is that what you said? Sure. <laughs> that's a fake guy that said that. You just said that. All right, here we go. Alicia Class, please, we need you. This guy, Paul, if I was him, I would have milked Beetlejuice for everything I could. This is the best thing on his show. Hey, were you finished, Beetlejuice? No, they, they're cutting him <laughs> off. He's just getting warmed up. <laughs> that was rude of them to cut you off like oh, that, right? Man. Were you yeah, insulted? They cut me off. Yeah. Why? I don't know. You were making where a good they, Where did they take you after this? Out to the alley to beat you up? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> sex is better. Honey, love it. Sex is better. Were you yelling, sex is better? Sex right. is better than what? Women. Than uh, women. I love Harry Stern. He's a great man. I love it, whores and bitches around here. I love that shit. A lot of whores and bitches around there. Did you get there. any action while you were out there? Did you get laid out there? Me? Well, twice. Twice. Really? I saw a tape of him. All the uh, porno stars were all over Beetlejuice like he was like James Bond. Really? Like he was a rock star. The girls were going wild for you. Yeah, they was. They were d taking their breasts and hitting you in the head with them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Did you like that? Hey, that was good, though. It was all good. And I saw some of the girls grabbing your crotch and French kissing you? Yeah. Are you like a 
superstar or something? Yeah. Yeah. He Unbelievable. Is? Yeah. <laughs> I saw a documentary on him. He's a big hero in his neighborhood. Oh, my goodness. In fact, I saw the documentary on our TV show. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, you were having so much fun out there, your hair turned white. That's what happened. He didn't dye it. All right. I'm an old man. I'm Tom Gray. What else? <laughs> so he's still going. Spending in life, huh? Right. I'm hot and I'm better. And I'm in charge, so come on. The show is two hours. I promised a lot of friends. Two hours. We gotta go. All right. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> All right, you graciously left. They, they obviously didn't appreciate your sense of humor. Oh, well. And uh, you showed them. You left. Let them go there with their stinking awards. Who cares? <laughs> Where's the award, by the way? Yeah, do you, by do the way, Casey got it for you. He yeah. did? Well, he's going to bring it after I go out. Oh, I see. All right. Okay. So anyway. After I go out, I'm going to bring it to you. What a lot of people don't realize is we had an earpiece on Beetlejuice, and we would tell you what to say, right? Yeah. So now for the first time on radio, we're going to play for you. Beetlejuice being instructed by our people. Okay. Who was instructing him, Ganji? You? Uh, myself and Doug. Yeah. Both of you guys were talking? Yeah. And, uh, and you both were in his down. earpiece? Wow. Beetlejuice, was it confusing having these guys in your ear while you were trying to talk? Yeah. It was. It was well, hard. Well, you got to realize, we rehearsed them in advance for like an hour. Right. And we went over every point. You know, we're like, hey, when we say this, you repeat after us. Right. And we kept going over it for an hour, and he was great. Howard's going to win an award tonight. Okay, you're going to accept for him. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Tell me some things you want to talk uh, about. Just a couple of things. Like what? Like what? Uh, I don't know. All right, but you're not going to leave the stage until they pull you off. Okay. Whenever you have any thought you're going to you're going to say to the microphone, you got to elaborate. Don't just say I like women. Say I like women. I like your big breasts. I like your big asses. I want to have sex with you. You're all hot. I'll well, kiss how? you. I'll suck your titties. Stuff like that. Just keep going. Okay? Mike's going to be in your ear. I'll be in your earpiece as well. But if you have a thought we give to you, don't stop at just repeating what we say. You keep going. You think on, think on your own if you can. You think you can do it? Yeah. You ready? I'm been ready. Tell me how ready you are. I'm been ready. Yell it loud. I'm been ready. That, that's the way you got to do it on stage. You get up, you say, I'm Beetlejuice, you sluts and whores. All right? <laughs> oh, sluts and whores and bitches. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's do this. All right, we're going to do, do a rehearsal. We're going to do a you. little rehearsal, Beetlejuice. Now, tell me, what do you think of uh, porno stars? Porno stars? Oh, that's the best sex they ever had in their whole life. How what many you porno stars have you slept with? Oh, about 20 and 40. <laughs> so, again, it's not like you, you have to say what he's saying. So, if he says... Tell me about porno stars. Say, oh, hey, porno stars. I like porno stars. Don't, when he says, tell me what about porno stars, don't answer his question. You need to readdress no, the question. No, I'm addressing my own. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Beetlejuice, <laughs> tell me again, how many porno stars have you slept with? Well, That's Sean in the background, Beetlejuice's first manager. Rest in peace, Sean. Uh, I see. I see, like, about 140. <laughs> Huh? 140 what? 140 girls. And what about them? What about them? What about them? Oh, they're 26 <laughs> girls. You know, they're all. All right. You know. Yeah, let's try something like this. Excuse me. Say this. Say. Say girls have penises. Okay. Girls have nice penises. Tell me what what you think about racism. Racism? Racism. It's a people. black person. <laughs> People is afraid of a football player. I'm a football player. I'm seven feet tall. Yeah. I'm seven foot two tall. What is everybody staring at? Hey, everybody staring and saying, what the fuck this guy is? <laughs> what is a porn star? What this motherfucker? He fuck with dreams. That's good. That's good. That's, that's good. good. That's that's good. Angry that's Beetle. good. With an Beetle, attitude. Who are you tonight? Beetle with an attitude. I'm a fucking attitude and I'm an angry bastard. That's right. Now you gotta convey that message. You have to tell that message. To everyone in that audience. Oh, I tell them all. Good job. I think you, you ready to go? I'm ready to go, right? <laughs> tell me, are you ready to go? I'm ready. All ready? I'm very ready. He shocked us. He uh, he actually got it, which was totally. Yeah. Beetlejuice <laughs> did a good job. Thank you. Uh, let's hear let's hear what that sounded like. Let's let's give it a look. The listen. coaching. Oh, 
forward, move forward, move forward, move forward. Sorry. Okay, I'm up here. Here we go. Okay. 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 So you guys are telling him to walk forward. Right. He's he's stop it. He wasn't even... Right. What happened that initially, there's a camera on the side of the stage, and he just saw the camera, so he starts facing the camera. He's facing sideways. Oh, right. he didn't get to the podium. <laughs> it's good you had the guys telling you what to do. Okay, Beetle, step up to the microphone. People call you Beetle for short? B. Yeah. Beetle, yeah. My or, or B. Your nickname. We call him B. 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 Okay. My name is Beetlejuice, and I have a big penis. Right. What are you staring at? What are you all staring at? What are you all staring at? It's so fun to program Beetlejuice. It's like a puppet. Yeah. It's fun, right? This is why they created all this technology. It's like a puppet. You can get him to say anything. It's right, great. it's good. Beetlejuice, but Beetlejuice just got the delivery. That's something yeah, you guys right. don't no, have. Right, exactly. He's like Johnny Carson. He's got writing. Yeah, but you guys could say this stuff, but you don't have the look <laughs> or the. Right, right. you don't have the looks, and Beetlejuice <laughs> knows how to sell the material. <laughs> the magic. It's much funnier coming out of The now. look or the time. You guys are just some hack writers, but Beetlejuice is the star. <laughs> You're nothing without him. <laughs> Beetlejuice. You should have seen, seen the reaction to, that he got. Yeah, notice oh Beetlejuice God. got all the girls afterwards, not oh you two. Yeah. Did you guys get any women? No. no Did they get any women, Beetlejuice? They could. They couldn't handle. <laughs> All right, let's let's hear more coaching. I have a big head. Big head, big star. I have a dream. I have a dream. Hello. I'm gonna throw up. I love all you. I I love I love all you whores and sluts. Alicia, class, please, we need you. Don't stop. Don't stop. He's yeah, yelling out, don't, don't stop. stop. Keep going. Don't stop, just panic back in the control room. Don't stop, don't stop. (laughs) Don't you stay up there. If they shoot you, stay up there. I love Howard Stern. I love Howard Stern. I love all you whores and sluts. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, you would change the words. Right? Like they they add yeah. a little bit. Yeah, you would change to like whores and sluts to whores and bitches, right? Yeah. You thought that was funnier? <laughs> and you throw in a little oh, profanity. It was very funny. It was very funny. It was very funny, yes. Paul Fishbein is a hot Jew. I'm hot, I'm bad. Paul is a hot Jew. What did you say? Paul, Paul Fishbein Fish. is a hot Jew, but Beetlejuice didn't get it. <laughs> Paul Fishbein is a hot Jew? <laughs> he said, I'm hot and I'm better. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, sometimes he ad-libs. He knows, he knows the crowd. He knows what the right thing is. Yeah. <laughs> he knows the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> guys worked in front of audiences for a long time. That's right. Well, uh, Beetlejuice, you outdid yourself. I can't think of a greater man to accept my award. Really. I mean I that. think he should accept all your awards. If no one, you're the official award acceptor. <laughs> now, people can get in touch with you at jollydwarf.com. I guess you work parties. and. Uh, right. And, uh, in fact, you can uh, be thrown and things like that. Uh, How much tossing. do you work, Beetlejuice? Me? Yeah. I work for four to ten hours. <laughs> I mean, but do you work every day or just weekends? What do you work? Oh, I work on weekends. Yeah? Yeah. Work, the week is free, huh? Yeah. Okay. Ed, you're on with Beetlejuice. Hey, Howard. Yes. Nice going with that Angie Everhart thing. Oh, thank you. Love that. Yeah, hey, so uh, did I. Beetlejuice on the uh, 17th of December was supposed to come play... Uh, Play my uh, Christmas party, and I got some bullshit call. Hey, hey, wait, hey, 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 easy hey, on the hey, way. Oh, hey. sorry about that. I got some call about two hours before showtime that he was canceling. Uh, his manager gave me Sean gave me some uh, song and dance about him having a broken ankle or something like that. Just want to see what the deal. I was in charge of the uh, entertainment for my party. I ended up looking like a big rube. Did you say anything? You know anything about that? Well, I don't know nothing about that. I had different things to do, you know. <laughs> did you break an ankle? You didn't break an ankle. I broke an ankle. Yeah. Oh, you did break nah, an ankle. That's yeah. a load of horse crap. Where's, yeah. Where's your ankle? Huh? Where's <laughs> your ankle? Right uh, yeah. uh-huh. well, here. Do well, is that why you're wearing the slippers? Does he know where yeah. it is? Yeah, he knows where it is. He knows where it is. Yeah, he knows his ankle. Uh, we found I, out so I'm much. I'm wondering if I can get some sort of uh, compensation for bi- for getting put out on the line like that. Probably not. I yeah. had to make the I had to make do with some uh, retarded bagpipe playing a couple nasty uh, who is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what can you do? Beetlejuice is a star, and sometimes things happen to stars. There's only one Beetlejuice, and sometimes he hurts himself. Uh, it's a dangerous business he's in. We found out yeah, so much stuff about Yeah, it is going to be dangerous. Him. What did what you find out about well, Beetlejuice? First of all, we found out his real age. I don't know if you know that. Hey, Beetlejuice, how old are you? Me? 31. Right. Wow. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How old, and he has a daughter. How old's your daughter? Oh, you don't want to know that. Now tell us oh, how old your daughter no. is. She's 75. <laughs> 75? Really? She was 34 the other day. Uh-huh. You got a daughter? Yeah, she lives in New York. <laughs> oh, yeah? And she's 75? Yeah. Wow. Really? What'd you get her for Christmas? Huh? Nothing. I sent it to school. 
You did. Ah. Mm, to learn the golden rule. <laughs> and also, Beetlejuice you know, spent some time in jail, too. Oh, you did, Beetlejuice? Oh, I, I should tell this even before Beetlejuice gets to that story. What? Beetlejuice almost uh, had a, a, a horrible thing happen to him. What? He, uh, they almost had to do an emergency landing of the plane because of Beetlejuice. In fact, uh, what happened was, tell the story, Beetlejuice. You were on the plane. Well, well I was on the plane. I smoked a cigarette. That was going to put me in jail for five years. I said, go ahead. I got $10,000. What you going to do anyway? You smoked a cigarette on the plane? He, he, yeah. So the, so the stewardess comes. He, he lit up a cigarette on the plane. You know, Is you're he not, sitting in a seat? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he was in the plane. They were flying. Well, so, I, guess, I guess the story is that, you know, his manager, Sean, was sitting next to him. He fell asleep, and, like, within 30 seconds, he had a cigarette lit. Yeah, because Sean, Sean is in Sean charge of Beetlejuice. Him. So Beetlejuice, as soon as he sees Sean is asleep, he lights up the cigarette. So I think is so they were gonna they were gonna actually land the plane. Here's a guy who was on the plane. Robert, you were on that plane, right? Yes. What happened? Basically, uh, there was smoke. You could smell the smoke in the air. The stewardess came flying over to him, <laughs> and she uh, basically she started you know she started really yelling at him, and we're gonna have to emergency land the plane. It's a federal offense. Blah blah blah. What did and, Beetlejuice uh, do? What's that? What was Beetlejuice doing? He just kept smoking. Beetle, Beetlejuice wasn't wasn't disrespectful at this point yet. Right. Okay. <laughs> but what happened was once he kind of because the big guy, that big guy that's always with yeah, him, Sean. He kind of he kind of spoke on behalf of Beetlejuice because yeah. apparently Beetlejuice couldn't read the sign and couldn't understand understand the sign. Right. And Beetlejuice, you don't read it all. No. No. All right. <laughs> see, see, he knows he gets away with it. So they, they didn't. They, under federal law, you have to land the plane if, if someone starts doing it. Up, yeah. But they, they took a look at Beetlejuice and they figure, well, okay, he's a special case. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. I guess the big guy kind of like just talked to the lady, whatever. I don't right. know what happened. I couldn't really hear what was going on. But right. once we landed, um, they he he was up talking to the pilot. So I thought like the pilot might have been a big fan or whatever. Right. Next thing I know, he started verbally abusing the. The stewardess that attacked him. Really? Beetlejuice. You told it. You told off the stewardess. Yeah. What did you say What'd to you her? Say? I called her bitch. You did. <laughs> and I asshole. Really? Jeez. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. No bullshit. No. Hey, easy. Wait, hey, wait. You. <laughs> so, so uh, you told the, the stewardess she was a bitch and an a hole. Yeah. And then you, and then you, and then she threatened you again. Yeah. And I said, when I see it, I'll beat the shit out of you. Well, oh well, you can't God. say that. You can't say that. You said when you see her, you'll beat the ass out of her. Yeah. Say, yeah. <laughs> Seven, 400 pounds, he's a grown man, and don't disrespect me. Right. <laughs> well, you thought yeah, they were treating man, you like a kid? You're a real man. Why don't you come to me and say that in my face? <laughs> <laughs> if you're a real man. Was he talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sticking up for him. Why is he coming after me? I don't know. Because <laughs> he's Beetlejuice. <laughs> he's Beetlejuice. Look at him. <laughs> you don't like this guy. No Beetlejuice, I'll stick him in my pocket. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, why don't you come in here and say that? <laughs> right. Beetlejuice doesn't take any crap from anybody, right, oh Beetlejuice? My God. You know, we were shooting some stuff on, this, on the Vegas Strip, and this car went by, and everyone, I mean, you see the head, you see this guy once, you know him. <laughs> right. so, so the car went by, and they opened the windows. They're like, yo, they were just heckling him a little bit, but they were fans right. of the show and fans of his. So he, he just got it. What, did he, what was he saying? He was he cursing, was like, man. He's like, come over here. You, come over here. Come over here. I'll kick your... And he was like waving at that stick, and he's like waving it at everybody. Right. Right. <laughs> hey, my son's here. I'll break your fucking head open with this. <laughs> Y'all like it. Break your fucking head off. A lot of people, because of your short height, they think they can kick your ass, but you, they had to let them know that you will fight them, right? You will fight anybody. I fight anybody. Strong and enough. Right. I'm you strong and enough. You would have beat up the stewardess. Yeah. You yeah. beat up I, girl? I, I, I weigh 200 pounds. I'll kill that guy. No. <laughs> I'll kill that guy. It's a woman. By the way, the pilot was laughing during all this. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record. So, Beetlejuice, uh, it, was, it was a wild trip down to Vegas, right? Right. Right, okay. But do you know you're not supposed to smoke on a plane? I didn't see the smoke. They say so, no smoke inside. That's what it says on it. Huh? See <laughs> so, no. how he gets away with it? Yeah. No, did you know you're not? It's against the law to smoke on a plane. Hey, I didn't have a choice. I'm <laughs> you. <laughs> you needed to smoke. He was in the plane and he right. needed to smoke. Right. What kind of cigarettes you smoke? It was Newport. Newport. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Menthol. Yeah. Yeah. So menthol. menthol yeah. yeah. So w when the stewardess comes over and says, "Listen, you, you're not allowed to smoke here." Put you, that out. What did you say to her? What did I say to her? I said, get the hell away from me, bitch. Really? Because yeah. you're having a nice smoke. You weren't bothering anybody. No. Nah. Right, all right. You know what? He gambled also. Well, really? Beetlejuice? He was, he was playing blackjack, and blackjack. apparently he was like hitting on 20 or something. You hit on 20? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't care, right? I don't care. He lost 200 bucks in about three minutes. <laughs> right. Why do you hit on 20? I could have hit on 20. I could have hit on 25. Right. <laughs> You'll hit on 25. All right.
<laughs> well, listen, well, all I know is I saw a tape of you out there. You were with all the women. Every woman wanted Beetlejuice. It's true. It <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, Beetlejuice, go to jollydwarf.com if you want to book Beetlejuice for some work. Uh, he's available for parties, things like this. Uh, he's a great guy, and everybody loves Beetlejuice. Yes, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Uh, it's brilliant having this guy. You know, he's hilarious. You love Beetlejuice. I love Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, I'm a big fan. <laughs> One of your fans, Beetlejuice. I hear you, brother. Yeah? Hey, Howard. Yes. Um, what was I going to say? You don't have nothing don't to know. say. We don't know what you're going to say. Tony, go ahead. Howard, yeah. the funniest thing I've ever seen. The first time I ever met Beetlejuice with my friends, he was working at a carnival, handing out softballs to knock down the bottles. I swear to you God. You used to work at a carnival? Yeah. Used to I've been, been there for nine Jersey years. City. You still work at a carnival. carnival. Yeah, I still work there, yeah. yeah. In Jersey City. And we, we didn't care about winning in the stand, obviously. We just stayed there because we were cracking up at the size of his freaking head. Right. It's hysterical. <laughs> People love Beetlejuice, right? No, that is. You know about such people over there on the side. All right. Yeah. What? What did you say? No. It was a class mm. shit I made up. Okay. I don't know what <laughs> he said. Time. All right. Thank you. Uh, Gary the Retard wants to say hi. Go ahead, Gary the Retard. Hey, Beetlejuice. Hey, G Beetlejuice, up? You, know, you know Gary the Retard? You know me, What's up, man? What's up? Oh, what's up, man? Hey, How's the joke going? Oh, <laughs> hey, you know what? You should be back the next week because I'm going to be back to New York again. So you better come to Howard's radio station again. Hey, I'm always here, brother. I'm you always here. You better come when I come because I'm leaving a uh, 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 week from next Thursday. Come back to New York. I'd like to listen to these two guys talk. They seem to have a meeting of the minds. You guys go ahead. I won't interrupt. Yeah. Show. What's right. up? Talk What's... to me. <laughs> Hey, Beetlejuice, how did you get all these good-looking women back there? Hey, got to hold on and hand in them, brother. Got to speak <laughs> nicely, bro. Can you, can you set me up with some of them? <laughs> oh, I'll give you a couple. Yeah, I need, I need a woman. These, uh, these guys are like the Martin and Lewis. Oh, my goodness. Of, uh, <laughs> this is the best I conversation each one of them's ever had. Them. I'll set you up. All right, all right. Anyway, hey, Gary, uh, thank you very much. Gary the retard, everybody. Mm. All right, Jack, you're on the air. Jack, go ahead. No Jack, I guess. Hello? All right. Well, I can see we've run out of time Jack for the Beetlejuice. Jack floored by that conversation. <laughs> right. he, he's still stunned. Yeah. Beetlejuice, congratulations. Thank you for going to pick up this award uh, on my behalf at Another the- Another stellar appearance. Yeah. I'm working on a new movie called Dumb and Dumber 2, <laughs> and I think I know who's going to be in it. No, dumb s <laughs> Dumb g -S. Right. Gangsta love. Jollydwarf.com. Go, go hire Beetlejuice. He's a great uh, party guy. Makes the party complete. See, I'll plug my word and say, jollygolf.com, bro. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that episode as much as I did. Beetlejuice never disappoints. And I want to say one other thing about Sean. Uh, Beetlejuice's manager, Sean, he truly loved Beetlejuice. He allowed Beetlejuice to move into his house. He took care of Beetlejuice just like Beetlejuice was his brother or his, his son. And uh, every time I see Sean, it makes me a little sad. But anyways, thanks for viewing this video, everybody. And if you like my channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button. And come on back. I got some great videos lined up. And uh, we'll see everybody real soon. Okay, take it easy.